Hi guys, welcome to our Sudhir Neet Biology Academy. Today, we shall see how biology is very important for NEET. How far you can score more marks in biology. See if you take uh, the total marks 720 out of 720 half of the marks 360 goes for biology total number of questions 180 90 questions are from biology so half of the mark the total need examination goes to biology so you must remember biology plays a very important role in getting marks in the NEET examination. The rest of the 90 marks goes for uh, physics and chemistry. So if you are thorough with this biology, you are very thorough with the concepts, the facts, the formulae of uh, everything in biology, then you can get more marks. So in this way, biology plays a very important role by gaining momentum, by gaining 50% of the marks, the total marks of the NEET examination. Right. Now, what are the areas or what are the topics that you can concentrate more to get more marks? So that is our aim. So our studies should be uh, smart also. Smart study is very important. So where to concentrate and how to study, how to get more marks. That's very important. So if you see, let us take up the whole uh, syllabus of biology in the NEET examination, in which what are the portions we have to concentrate? What is the mark weightage for each chapter? Let us discuss. I hope you have finished your um, need preparation and you are in a um, revision mode. I hope this is only 20 days or more for the examination. So you are in the revision mode now. At this point, this lecture will help you more. 11, at the 11th hour preparation, this video, this uh, my lecture will be very helpful to you. Right. First of all, the, I have mingled both 11th and 12th chapters. I have arranged mark-wise. I arranged the chapters mark-wise so that you can concentrate. Where you get more number of questions. Where you can get more marks. Right. First of all, you have to concentrate the first thing, human physiology of your 11th standard unit 5. So 11th standard, unit 5, you get human physiology, wherein you get 15 to 20 marks, or 16 to 20 marks, 20% 20 of the marks goes for this chapter alone, human physiology. And this you get subtopics, all are important, you have to study all the chapters, digestion and absorption, respiration, circulation, chemical coordination, neural coordination, locomotion, every chapter is very important. You must be thorough with the, all the chapters in human physiology. Each sub-chapter, in each sub-chapter of human physiology, you get two to three questions. Digestion and absorption, two to three questions. Circulation, two to three questions. A respiration, two to three questions. Locomotion and movement, two to three questions. Chemical coordination, two to three questions. Neural coordination, two to three questions. On the whole, you get 16 to 20 questions. So 20% 20 of the marks of biology is in this one chapter, human physiology. So here you get the conceptual question, 
direct questions indirect questions and diagram based questions very important in this area in this human physiology you will get one diagram based question we i have discussed uh, everything the diagram based question in human physiology in each chapter i have discussed in my videos just you can go to the youtube channel so they need biology academy and refer the mcq questions the diagram based mcq question in human physiology so this is about the first chapter first chapter you have to concentrate more you know with, with all the sub topics next chapter you have to concentrate is diversity in the living world diversity that comes in the 11th standard unit 1 unit 1 wherein you get 10 to 15 questions 10 to 15 questions living world two 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 questions biological classification three questions plant kingdom two to three questions animal kingdom three to five questions this is the uh, mode of getting questions in plant kingdom you should concentrate uh, pteridophytes and uh, gymnosperms that's a uh, area you get Uh, more questions then third ecology that comes under the 12th standard unit 10 12th standard unit 10 ecology wherein you get 12 to 14 questions 12 to 14 questions sub topics will be organisms and population 2 to 3 marks ecosystem 2 to 3 marks biodiversity and conservation 3 marks environmental issues 2 marks so in these areas environmental issues is very important you must concentrate more on this area in ecosystem ecological permits are very important biomass energy etc ecological permits are important then next fourth important topic you have to study is cell structure and function that comes in the 11th standard unit 3 where you get 10 to 12 questions 10 to 12 questions cell unit of life three questions biomolecules two to three questions cell cycle and cell division three questions so in this chapters the cell chapter you have to concentrate mycoplasm nucleus chromosomes ribosomes these are all the things you have to concentrate in this chapter cell the unit of life and then cell cycle and cell division you should concentrate in prophase 1 of meiosis 1 this is a long phase of cell division it has five subdivision leptotene zygotene paketin diplotin and diakinesis this is very important this area is very important in this cell division then fifth area genetics and evolution in 12th standard unit 7 12th standard unit 7 you get genetics and evolution that is the fifth unit you have to concentrate where you get 11 to 12 questions so in genetics and evolution you will get mathematical problems and dihybrid ratio so what are the sub chapters inheritance and variation five questions molecular basis of inheritance dna etc four marks evolution three marks so in this inheritance you get uh, you should concentrate dihybrid ratio 9 is to phenotypic ratio 9 is to 3 is to 3 is to 1 dihybrid phenot uh, 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 genotypic ratio 1 is to 2 is to 2 is to 4 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 is to 2 is to 1 dihybrid genotypic ratio and then linkage you should concept 7 is to 1 is to 1 is to 7 ratio and then um, genetic disorders codominance for example your blood group and then lack of ron these are all the areas you have to concentrate in molecular basis of inheritance dna fingerprinting is very important you should study dna fingerprinting and human genome project hgp the next 
sixth area reproduction it comes in the 12th standard unit 2 subtopics reproduction in organisms 3 to 4 questions sexual reproduction in flowering plants four more questions human reproduction two questions very important reproductive health three questions so this human reproduction should have been in this human physiology but it uh, they are put under reproduction it doesn't matter so in sexual reproduction in flowering plants microsporogenesis very important megasporogenesis very important apomixis these are the three areas you have to concentrate and then human reproduction is very important reproductive health is also important then next seventh area you get to concentrate is the 11th standard unit 2 structural organization in plants and animals wherein you get 9 to 11 questions 9 to 11 questions subtopics morphology of flowering plants 3 to 4 anatomy of flowering plants 4 questions structural organization in animals two questions so here in an anatomy of flowering plants stem root leaf anatomy is very important and then animal tissue is very important in that epithelial tissue is uh, you have to concentrate more on the epithelial tissue then the eighth topic in this order is plant physiology in 11th standard unit 4 you get six to eight questions in the chapter Subtopics will be transport in plants, one to two questions. Mineral nutrition, one question. Photosynthesis, two questions. Respiration in plants, two questions. Plant growth and development, one question. So in transpiration in plants, you have to study the transpiration pull. Transpiration pull. Apoplastic and symplastic movement. You should be thorough. Mineral nutrition, you have to study nitrogen cycle. It's very important. Nitrogen cycle and mineral deficiency. Right. Then respiration in plants, you should study C4 plants, Kranz anatomy. And then glycolysis and Krebs cycle. That's very important. And photosynthesis. Ninth area is biology in human welfare. This comes in 12th standard unit 8. You get 5 to 7 questions. Here, subtopics human health and disease, <coughs> 2 to 3 questions. Food production strategy, 1 to 2 questions. Microbes in human welfare, 2 questions. So here in human health and disease, you get you have to concentrate more on AIDS, cancer, and drugs. And then you have to concentrate here some general questions also. This year you can get a question on this coronavirus, COVID-19. You know the expansion, coronavirus disease from 2019. So you, may, you should know something about this coronavirus because some general questions may be asked in this human health and diseases. See, if we talk about this coronavirus, what is the family this COVID or this coronavirus belongs to? You must know. Corona viridae. Corona viridae is the family to which the coronavirus belongs. What is the nature of spread? It is endemic or pandemic. So endemic means only to a particular area. Whereas here it is pandemic, it is spreading all over. So it is spread is of pandemic type. Right. What is the genetic material? So usually viruses have RNA as the genetic material except the TME, tobacco mosaic virus alone has DNA as the genetic material. So here this coronavirus is also having the RNA as the genetic materials that also SS RNA, capital S, small s type of RNA. Which system is more affected? Generally, you, must, you should know, you can know. 
it affects the respiratory system of the human body right then what is the technique used to detect coronavirus is very important what is the technique used to detect the coronavirus it is rt pcr this you must know rt pcr rt reverse transcriptase and then pcr you know polymerase chain reaction reverse transcriptase polymerase chain reaction rt pcr this is a technique used to detect the coronavirus so this the, these are the general things you must know uh, regarding the need 2020 the last topic you have to study is biotechnology you get 3 to 6 marks uh, uh, questions 3 to 6 questions uh principles and processes three to four questions and applications one to two questions so this is a small chapter biotechnology uh, but you must study even though it is least it is last chapter but not least uh, you may you will get uh, three to six questions in this biotechnology uh, small two chapters are there so these are all the things about the weightage of marks and where you have to concentrate so i repeat first chapter human physiology 15 to 20 questions number 2 diversity in the living world 10 to 15 questions number 3 ecology 12 to 14 questions number 4 cell structure and function 10 to 12 questions genetics and evolution 11 to 12 questions reproduction 10 to 12 questions and then structural organization in plants and animals 9 to 11 questions and then plant physiology 6 to 8 questions biology in human welfare 5 to 7 questions and finally biotechnology 3 to 6 questions so you have to so the, this lecture uh, will be very useful for your 11th hour preparation and the last time revision you should concentrate in these chapters huh? good luck we shall meet in the next video thank you very much